So this here is a flea under the microscope. And in this video, I like to have a look at five reasons. I'd like to share with you five reasons why fleas are able to jump extremely far compared to, to their own body size. Well, it actually might even appear that uh, the fleas are flying through the air, but uh, actually they're not really flying. They have no wings. So hello and welcome. Microbe Hunter here again. My name is Oliver. And uh, in this uh, channel, I like to explore the world with my microscope. And I, of course, want to share my discoveries with you. Well, some of you might have uh, pets uh, at home, so maybe you have dogs um, or cats, uh, and uh, maybe you are able to see sometimes strange little things, tiny things uh, flying off the fur of the animal when you try to pet uh, your animal. And uh, the things that jump off, these are fleas that live in the fur of, of the animal. Fleas are insects, uh, they're so-called flightless insects, but uh, yeah, they're not able to fly. Um, but how are they able to then actually go from animal to animal? Well, this is because they're able to jump very large distances, at least a large distances in relation to their own body size. And by jumping this far, they're able to always spread from animal to animal because they like to suck the blood of the animal for food. The flea that uh, you can see here, this is a so-called a dog flea, and it's able to jump about 20 to 30 centimeters, which is about a foot. Yeah? This might not appear to be very much, um, but it is about 100 to 200 times its own body size. If a human were to jump that, that far, then it, that would mean that a human could jump around 300 to 400 meters, which is a quarter of a mile. That This would be indeed a very large distance. For many years, uh, the scientists, they did not know the mechanism that allows fleas to jump this far. It's, there are actually several um, biological adaptations uh, and under the microscope, we are able to see some of these adaptations. And that's actually one of the things that I would like to show you in this video. How are the fleas adapted to jump those large distances? First of all, uh, fleas have a lot of muscles and we're able to see these muscles under the microscope. Fleas, after all, have to be relatively strong. And uh, we can actually see those muscles by looking into the flea itself. The muscles um, are attached to the inside of the exoskeleton of the flea. Now, the exoskeleton, that is the hard outer part of insects and also of other animals like spiders. But if you look very carefully, then you can see that their muscles have a certain banding pattern. There are those light bands and dark bands. And the, the reason why there is this banding pattern is, is because protein fibers inside the muscles are responsible for this striped appearance. This banding pattern um, is referred to as striations. And uh, if you're able to see these striations under the microscope, then you actually know that you're actually looking at muscles. And, and by the way, um, it's not only fleas and other insects have these striations, but also humans, uh, human muscles, they also have uh, this bat pattern. Here, for example, this is a human muscle under the microscope, and you can also see that there are those light and dark bands visible. Now, fleas, uh, they might uh, be quite strong. They might have strong muscles, uh, but they do have one disadvantage. I'm talking about the muscles here. The muscles are quite slow. The muscles, uh, they cannot con contract quickly enough uh, to make the flea jump that distance. And this actually leads us now to the second reason why fleas are able to jump so far. They have a specific organ that is used for jumping. And this organ is also known as the resilient pad. It can be found at the top of the hind leg. And this organ works uh, like a rubber band uh, that you stretch. So the flea uses the muscles to slowly stretch the organ. And when it wants to jump, then the organ quickly contracts and the legs snap backwards and the flea jumps off. This organ uh, contains a protein called resilin, hence the name. And it's a very elastic protein that works like a rubber band. So the muscles stretch the organ and when it snaps back, then the flea jumps off. Now, the third reason is a rather obvious one. Uh, fleas have a pair of very long jumping legs. And as a matter of fact, uh, if you look at the image here, the legs even appear to be longer than the rest of the body itself. The long legs allow them to accelerate to over a longer distance, and this makes them jump faster and, of course, also increases the distance of the jump. But there is another problem. There's yet another problem. Have you ever tried to jump or run on a smooth surface, like, like on ice? Now, that's a very slippery and you would not be able to jump very far or maybe you're not even able to jump at all. And for this reason, fleas have long spikes on their legs, especially on their hind legs. And the flea uses these spikes to anchor itself in the ground when it jumps off. 
In other words, the spikes prevent the flea from slipping when it jumps. The spikes dig into the surface when it jumps and it helps to push it off. So it's not only the tip of the foot that touches the surface, but it's a large section of the lower leg. And this part has all of the spikes and is used for actually creating enough friction for, this, uh, for the flea to jump off. Now for the fifth and last adaptation. And here we have to look at the microscope slide without a microscope. Fleas are quite thin. They are so flat and thin that they can be mounted directly on the microscope slide itself. And I think that this might be an adaptation that's also often overlooked. Fleas have a very aerodynamic shape. They are quite thin and this reduces their ear resistance and this way they can actually uh, jump much further. So the next time when you find a tiny insect somewhere, well, put it under the microscope. It can be quite interesting to look at. And if you like to look at tiny things under the microscope, then uh, here is another video that I recommend. I wish you happy microbe hunting as always. See you around next time. But then again, uh, fleas are not microbes, huh? are they? <laughs> See you around.